there's been a controversy growing here in town for a little while now down in, uh, surrounding People's Park and the issue of kids and guns and gangs and drugs and a bunch of different things. And recently the, the shit kind of hit the fan with this police pat down in People's Park, which you may know about if you live in Bloomington. If you don't live in Bloomington, well, you'll just have to try to figure things out for yourself. I'm Greg Moore, I'm from Apache, Anarchist Political Action Committee <laughs> for Health and the Environment. Doesn't take very many Apaches to take over a park. I think we've taken it over. I think we've taken over People's Park. There's the very dangerous hacky sack crowd over there. If you move a little further to the southeast, you'll see the ever dangerous purple haired pinochle players. They're very dangerous. And we have the tree people. We have the tree people over there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you catch the tree oh, people? Oh, yeah. They're they have, very dangerous. They have successfully taken over that tree. It's good to see you all out here. The reason for this was to make a statement about this being People's Park. We're tired of police harassment. We're tired of not being basically left alone in a place that's set up for you all to do what you want to do. I mean, within limits. Not shooting each other. You know, and of course, you can't wear your hat backwards. That shit is illegal. Get you branded as a gang member. I want to tell you about the gang problem in Bloomington. They wear colors. Usually comes in kind of like a suit coat. It's gray or blue. They have a little piece of rag kind of drapes down. It's got diagonal stripes across it. They're spreading dangerous chemicals among us. Dioxins, PCBs, trichloroethylene. And they sat on both hands, probably with a thumb up our ass, while this stuff gets in our food chain, in our water, in our soil. We can't do anything about that unless we kick their ass out of the positions of power. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable search and seizure shall not be violated. The cops are always going to be cops. Why don't you just stay out of their way? Don't wear your damn flag and be in a gang. If you want to do that, fine. Don't expect me to support you. Don't expect me to go, oh, yeah, man, right on when you talk about killing cops. And we remember very clearly what happens when people with a lot of political power raise the level of, of hysteria and direct people's awareness away from fundamental problems like greed and corruption in, in very high places that are pervasive throughout basic social inequities, racism, sexism, the big ones that we're always struggling in our daily lives to try to overcome. They direct people's attention away from them and they tantalize them with this notion that their property and their safety is imperiled by young people. Get a grip. God damn it, we want safety and we don't want harassment. Get a handle on your cops. They're not bad people. They do what we pay them to do. Elect people and tell them to do what we want them to do. Some people, some policemen, just don't care. Why? One time I heard about these kids were, were just walking down the street and some policemen started beating on them. Finally, I want to say very clearly that the number one issue for the mayor's race in Bloomington, Indiana in 1995 should be the removal of Chief Steve Sharp. Yeah! Up against the wall.
that's what happened, and now you've seen it for yourself.